So we're on our way to do a little vintage shopping. I'm so excited. I haven't gone to an antique store in the UK in probably 10 years. And that was before I was a reseller. So it was a very different shopping experience. So to see what we find, especially the differences between like what we commonly have in the Pacific Northwest versus like what is typical in the UK. Always hoping for brass, of course. Always hoping for art. So, but definitely open-minded because you know, when you're going thrifting, you just have to let the store tell you what you need. So let the adventures of thrifting and vintage shopping in Europe begin. The first thing I spotted was this amazing brass pedestal. I think it would make a great plant stand and I've never seen anything like it. Love these brass utensils, but decided to leave them behind. Okay, so I need to bring a container home with me apparently because there's so many things. So we're bringing home a lot of my husband's stuff because he's from the UK um, and a lot of his childhood stuff. And so uh, he's like, you're gonna have more stuff to bring back than me. And I'm just like, probably, because I can accumulate the equivalent of like 30 years worth of belongings in two seconds if you let me in these um, antique stores. But I'm gonna show you this very beautiful table or little like stand that I would bring home if I could. So look at this, it is so, look at how pretty this is. Oh, look at the carving, it's only 60 pounds, people. Look at this one. This one is so cute too. 38. Oh, all that beautiful rustic patina. The set of original paintings totally caught my eye. I love that they're originals and they were really cheap. I love the shape on these brass cricket boxes. So one of the things that I always look for is uh, Walter Boss stuff, um, his brass pieces and metal pieces, and here's the hedgehog. So I guess I had to go all the way to the UK to find the hedgehog. He's so cute. He's right there. Okay, some more fun brass. I actually own this. It's like a royal post box. And then over here we have a really cute bear. Oh, so cute. Yeah, the brass has been really fun to see. So many different things that I don't see at home. These carved wooden plates caught my eye and I totally regret not bringing them home. So this piece, oh my goodness. Very old oil on canvas, 110 pounds. Oh my God. Oh, it makes me wanna just throw everything out in my house and like start decorating in this very like traditional old world style. I mean, it is so beautiful. Look at her skirt. Stunning. So one of the things I'm looking for while I'm in Europe are mini brass candlesticks because they sell really well for me. People go bananas over them. I very rarely find them. So just found several sets. Oh, I'm so excited. And the funny thing is, um, I asked my husband, I'm like, oh, should I go upstairs? Because there's a second floor here. And he's like, oh, I don't know. And he's like, I don't know if there's anything up there. Imagine if I didn't come up. <laughs> so always look, don't trust anyone, always look. I love how each of these sets are totally unique and I can't believe my luck. I've always been drawn to West German pottery and this vase is probably the biggest I've ever seen. Another brass pedestal I consider bringing home. I thought this brass fish was amazing, especially the base of it because it was very unique. I love the detail on this brass tray and it's definitely coming home. I love the fabric on this chair. Oh, gee. This is like an example of taking something really, really antique -y old and putting a beautiful fabric on it and just makes it just that much more special and elevated. Oh, and you should, if you were here, like you should feel this fabric. It's almost like silky, silky soft, it's beautiful. This original art piece was only 10 pounds and I still can't believe I left it behind.
I really wanted to bring this cheetah home, but it was just a little bit too big. This breast penguin was so cute, but so heavy. And apparently there's little individual shops and containers too. Some more brass. Oh my goodness, the brass. But look at this. It's a little dot, little dachshund, little lamp post. Is that the cutest thing? And there's more in here. I may have to get this mini set because for four pound fifty, they're so cute. So so cute. Here's these, but I don't know if that's wax in the center because it's so hard, like rock hard. So I'm not sure if we'd be able to get it out. So we're back in the car on the way to our next stop. That was incredible. I am in heaven, OMG. Like the whole time I'm walking around, I'm telling my husband like, this place is amazing, it's amazing. There's so many brass things, it's amazing. It's also, well, not like cheap, but good prices. Even like with the exchange rate annoying, I'm gonna have to like kind of like ship it back. <laughs> Still like good. So I got a few brass things. I was like two seconds away from getting a brass um, bowl which was like a bull as in the animal, not as a bull as in the, you know. Um, and yeah, so it was 12 pounds. Um, so like 15 bucks, let's say. Um, and it would have been, mm, mm, I sold one in the past for a lot of money. So I was like, no, because it was on the whole table. I was like, someone got this. And the lady was like, yep, they did. I was like, no. Um, but yeah, I did get some really fun stuff. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, and then we're gonna go to our next stop. So hopefully I find some goodies there too. You guys know I love a needlepoint and the colors on this one are fantastic. I've never seen anything like it and you cannot beat the price. Burlwood, anything is so hot right now and I wish I could bring this piece home. So I'm back in studio for my European sourcing trip. I have so many amazing things to show you. I was gone for almost a month. So I was primarily in the UK. I did a, a weekend trip to Paris with my husband. So of course hit up those flea markets, which was so amazing. I nearly, oh my God, the art. I can't wait. I cannot wait to share the art that I got. Just the art alone from these trips was just phenomenal. Like a dream come true. So I'm going to split these videos like by stop. This is the first video in the series of my European sourcing adventures. So um, the stuff that I'm gonna show you today is from the sourcing that I did near where my in-laws live. They live in the middle of the country called the Midlands. Um, and so I hit up some antique malls there and then I have stuff from London I'm gonna show you, from the coast of Wales. I just have a lot of stuff to show you. So as I complete the videos, I'll definitely link them down below. So before we jump into the haul portion, cause I know you're really excited, based on the footage that I will have showed you, uh, what did I actually bring home from those amazing stops? Um, so I'm gonna get to that, but I do have um, some frequently asked questions that I feel like I need to address quickly based on like pricing, shipping, and um, selection. So I'll just touch on those really quick and then we'll get jump right into like the fun haul portion. Okay, so pricing. So I get asked all the time, Andy, how are the prices? <laughs> Was it more expensive? How did it compare to the US? And I will say, Pricing was really, really good. Now the pound to dollar like that um, currency exchange is definitely more because the, the dollar's weaker. So basically I will tell you what I paid in pounds, but just like add 20% on and then you kind of know what the cost is. Uh, and then in terms of selection. So this was like the really fun thing for me because when I go around to the antique malls, thrift stores and stuff, I'm generally seeing a lot of the same stuff. And even when I've thrifted out of state, a lot of time, I mean, the selection will vary, but there's a lot of the same stuff. It was definitely different. It was, as you can imagine, very old world. There are a lot more like antiques, a lot more traditional things. Um, being in the Pacific Northwest, we get a lot of mid-century vintage, like mid-century modern. That was like largely absent from a lot of the stuff that I picked up which was okay because I was really going there for like the patina and the historical items. And just that was the stuff that I was really excited to find because it's a little bit different. And then briefly just on shipping, I did not ship any of this stuff back. I relied exclusively on checking bags with the airline, which I will say is a hot tip because to ship any of this stuff back would have been insane. I ship internationally all the time through my Etsy shop. It's exorbitant. Like I will ship a little package like this to Australia and it will be like, 
$90. So there's no way I could have shipped really anything home. The only way to ship something economically would be to like palletize or get a container or something or a spot in a container. So we of course didn't want to do that. I didn't want to shop that hard when I was there. And so I relied exclusively on just check bags, uh, which made shipping stuff back a lot more affordable because you could like pack up to 50 pounds worth of stuff and you're only paying like 60 bucks to check the bag with the airline or it's free if you, um, you know, depending on how much you paid um, up front for your ticket. So that's how I got everything home. Okay, so that's all of the stuff I wanted to tell you. So we're gonna jump into the haul portion now because I know that's the part that you're like the most excited about. Okay, so the first thing that caught my eye was, and this is really rickety right now because I broke it down down for shipping so it's kind of like wiggly um, but it's actually very heavy and solid is this amazing brass pedestal I have never seen one like this before um, in the States and so it just really really caught my eye it was only 23 pounds which I thought was incredible and it's just like the detail on the top is beautiful and it has a very solid base so like Putting a plant on this would be absolutely stunning. And if you had a tablescape at a party, I mean, it would just be so fun to like put some like a plate on top of this with a dessert. I mean, it's just a stunning piece. I had never seen it before. This was a very good deal because after I picked this one up for 23, I kept seeing them around the UK and they were like 60 pounds, 100 pounds. So I was very excited to get it. It was definitely, definitely heavy and I had to except the fact that I would not be able to bring more stuff back because of weight. That's one thing that definitely was on my mind as I was sourcing things was that um, I tried to find pieces that were not super big because then that would mean I would take up more space in the luggage and then also making sure that, you know, it wouldn't, I mean, this sucker alone, I think is like five pounds. So that means like that's five pounds worth of like art I couldn't bring back or five pounds worth of pottery or whatever. So anyways, I had that in my mind every time I was out, but this piece I thought was beautiful and this will be available for sale. I'm not going to be keeping this. So right off the bat, something that will be available for you guys. Okay. So the next art totally caught my eye. And if you follow my channel, you know, I'm not a brown girl. I don't like the color brown very much. Although this is probably, I feel like my shirt is reading kind of brown rather than like purpley what it is. But, um, I usually don't love brown, but this artwork was just so eye catching to me. I just, I had to get it. So it came in a pair, nine pounds for a pair. So really, really, really reasonable. It's actually painted. So I know it doesn't look like that because it has glass, but I don't know if you can see the texture, but it's actually painted, which I thought was beautiful and interesting and it's actually artist signed down there if you can see so yeah i thought it was very unique i love the frame because it has like this me like silver metal on the edges and then this really like lovely almost teak like color around the side so framed professionally really great the funny thing is i picked up these two pieces of art and then one of my uh, favorite people i follow on instagram tyson curates she actually found a huge version of like this one. So I thought it was so funny. I've like never seen these before. And then she happens to find one um, in the States, like a giant version of this. So like, you know, it's kind of funny how that works where you're like something materializes, and then all of a sudden you see it everywhere and you've never seen it before. So yeah, I had to pick these up. I, I love them. Thank goodness for you guys. I don't decorate in a lot of brown because otherwise I'd be keeping them, but these will be available at my Etsy shop. So the next item I got is this adorable stone pair. I mean, look at that. Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? So I think it was only like maybe three pounds. Um, I got it in an antique mall. I thought it was super cute. People collect stone fruit. They really love it, especially grapes. People love stone and glass grapes. Um, I don't personally understand it, um, but I know people go bananas. So I have, I actually have another stone fruit item I'm going to show you for my trip to Paris. So you'll have to just watch that video to check it out. But yeah, this little guy will be available in my Etsy shop. Just as like a really fun decorative moment. So if you have like a collection, obviously this would like be at home in that collection or just like a sweet little moment, um, you know, decorative moment on a shelf or in a little tray that you've styled up. So yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. Okay, I have so much more brass to show you. So I got this really adorable little turtle dish. I have sold this before. It always sells well because it's just so cute. It's like a little stash box, like, you know, trinket, trinket container. You can put whatever you want in it. It's just really, really cute. The detail is amazing. Now it is missing its pin, 
but uh, my husband said he can easily find a little piece of metal and then put it in there and then it'll be as good as new. So yeah, I had to grab it. I think it was, I think it was 15 pounds. So this was like a little bit on the steeper side, but there's still a lot of margin for me in terms of what I would sell it for because they are so popular. And just so you know, all the brass that you're gonna see in my hauls has already been pre-shined up. I actually went on a brass cleaning spree. I'm getting ready for a market um, this summer. And so I had to like clean all the brass uh, for that market. So I just decided to clean everything that I have bought made of brass in the last like few months. That was, that was a lot of cleaning. <laughs> that was a lot of cleaning, but this little guy, he was very tarnished um, and I shine him up beautiful. So yeah, he will be available in my Etsy shop. So I actually got two more like animals. So I got this beautiful brass peacock. Every time I have these in my shop, they sell really well. I have never seen one. Usually they're always with um, painted red. So I have never seen one that actually has like painted goldy orange tone. So I thought it was very cool. Um, and so this was actually fairly easy to ship. It comes apart. So that made shipping it really, really easy. Or when I say, sorry, when I say ship, I mean check it in a bag in the airplane. <laughs> so I know because like Andy, you didn't ship anything. Sorry. In my mind, I'm still shipping when I'm putting it in the plane. Um, anyways, so yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. I thought it was beautiful. It was very reasonably priced. Um, when I when I don't remember the price, I will pop it on the screen for you. So hopefully I can look it up and then just share it on the screen. So yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. I couldn't say no to it because I've sold it before and it always sells really well. Okay, so the next few pieces I have to show you, I, I lost my mind basically when I saw them because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's happened. So when I set intentions for my trip to Europe, my sourcing trip to Europe, I wanted to find art. Like I wanted to find the most amazing art. And of course I totally did it. Like my trip very much delivered. And then I wanted to find mini brass candlestick holders because as you guys know, if you watch my channel, I'm obsessed with these. I love them. I think they're so sweet and interesting. Anytime I list them, they literally fly out of my Etsy shop. I can't, I will say like it's available in like two seconds later, I get the cha-ching from Etsy saying it has sold because people just love them too. They fit a um, birthday candle size candle, um, which is so sweet. So if you don't want to get like this traditional chunky one, like you would opt for the really like skinny, tall birthday candles, the very dramatic ones. Um, and it just looks stunning. So I got, so three sets. This one's like squared off and with my face, you may not be able to see it very well there. So these ones are like squared off at the base. And then I got a set that's round, which is very cool. And then lastly, I got a set that has like, like more of like a hexagon shape. So yeah, I could not believe it that I actually found them, especially like like towards the beginning of my trip, which I thought was amazing because then I could just like relax because I found them. So because I have found three sets, that means I can finally like go through my collection that I have, which I have a lot because a lot of, some of these were actually like dollhouses, dollhouse candlestick holders and the other ones were like this, which I'm not sure they were necessarily for a dollhouse. I think they actually could have been like decoratively speaking for adults rather than children. Um, but I'm gonna go through my collection and then I'm gonna release some to you guys. So you're welcome. <laughs> so they're so hard to find. I look for them everywhere. Um, and so yeah, so some of these will be available. I don't know which ones yet because I have to like make the hard decision on which ones I'm gonna keep. But just know some of them are coming to you guys very, very soon. And when they do, they go out of the shop like immediately. So. Um, I will try to give everyone a heads up before they drop and so that way everyone has like a fair chance of getting them because I know that they're super super hot they're like they're just people go bananas for them okay and speaking of candles I also got this really sweet candelabra three candles it's just like the perfect size to me it's just like the perfect cute little size because usually candelabras are like big and they're just you know it's a look it's like a very like dramatic glitzy look where I feel like this is like more of an understated sweet candelabra. So this actually fits a, what's called a slim size candle. So you have to keep that in mind. You know, heard me say this before, if you watch my channel, that usually when you're getting vintage candle holders, you may have to get a size of a candle that doesn't come readily in the store. So you may have to like order off of Amazon or Etsy or, or go thrifting and you can find it that way. That way. 
Um, I, that's how I usually get all my candles is I thrift them because then they, you know, when you shop them for vintage and vintage candles, you need vintage, vintage candle holders, you need vintage candles. And usually they're like at the same estate sale. So always pick them up when you see them because then you have a lot of variety when you do find something like this and you don't have to go out and source candles. So this will be available in my Etsy shop. Okay, so another brass and final brass piece, and then we're gonna get to my very favorite thing from this part of my trip. So this tray I thought was beautiful. You know, I sell a lot of brass trays. It's one of my bread and butter things that I pick up. I have never seen one like this that has this beautiful like scallop detail on the edges. I thought it was stunning. This was uh, 10 pounds. Oh, I forgot to tell you the pricing on the little candle holders. I think they were like two and three pounds a set, which was insane. And I think this guy, I'm gonna say this was like under five pounds. Um, so yeah, super, super reasonable. But yeah, this was 10 pounds, so I thought was really great. So this was like something very easy to pack because it's nice and flat. And this one actually wasn't super heavy for a brass tray, which was great. So yeah, this may or may not be available in my Etsy shop because I'm planning to bring a few pieces like this to an upcoming market. So some, some of this stuff will be like, I'll list it and then it will also be in the market. So we'll see who gets to it first. But yeah, this, anytime I see brass, I had to get it and I wasn't going there with the intention of picking up trays, but when I saw one that I have not seen in the States, I just had to grab it. Okay, so to the final most amazing piece that I'm sorry I'm gonna keep, but when you see it, you're gonna be like, that belongs with you, Andy, is this beautiful vintage needlepoint. I mean, look at the colors on this. I nearly lost my mind. I nearly lost my mind. And wait till I tell you the price, 12 pounds. 12 pounds people that's like under $20 so yeah completely framed custom framed the colors are stunning I have never seen a like floral like this before um usually I'm seeing you know I don't know like usually when something's needlepoint it's usually not the subject matter is not like bright enough or matches my personal decor and obviously you know I like I love a lot of flowers and I love a lot of color so it was really amazing to find something that was very, very colorful. I'm excited to like maybe find a space in my gallery wall. So I may just have to reconfigure my gallery wall to include this beautiful thing. I just loved how the mauve like goes with like my mauve chair and other like mauve vibes um, in, my, in my space. So yeah, definitely it was made for me when I spotted it when I was at an antique mall. I walked into the room and I looked over and there it was and I was like, and then when I saw the price, I was like, I nearly fainted because I thought the, it was just such a screaming good deal. So yeah, yep, yep. So this came home with me. So packing art, I will actually do a separate video on how to pack all this stuff, especially the artwork, because I know a lot of people will be like, how in the world did you pack the artwork to be shipped underneath the airplane safely? Because we all know the airlines. They can't be trusted all the time when it comes to keeping your bag safe. But I will say every single item that I brought home from Europe, and I brought home some breakable stuff and a lot of art, um, came home intact fine. So I know my packing techniques definitely work. So I will share those with you guys. But yeah, this came home with me. It will not be available. I'm so sorry. But oh, when I found it. Mm, I cannot wait to style it in my gallery wall. Okay, so that's what I have to show you. This was just three stops in the UK. I have so many other stops to show you. So two antique malls and another like cute little shop in the Cotswolds. So um, yeah, I have, there's a lot coming up. A lot coming up, a lot of art coming up. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys the art that I got. Some of which I will definitely make available to you guys. And some pieces are just gonna be for me forever. Like I just cannot believe all the art that I got. So can we just show you the rest of the haul? So definitely keep coming back every week or so. I'm gonna drop a new video on a new destination for my European sourcing trip. So if you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos and these sourcing videos, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to share my next adventures with you. Take care.